Once upon a time, a tribe was traveling, tribe of warriors. And all of them stopped by near a garden like this because they wanted to get some rest. They wanted to drink some water and they wanted to talk. You see, all the tribe members had some questions for the tribe leader. The tribe leader, they called him the tribe mentor. And everybody wanted to ask him, what is the secret of your confidence? How are you so powerful all the time? So he decided, say, he said, you know, let's all drink water first of all. Let's have some food. And after that, I'm going to give you my secret of confidence. The question is, would you like to know that secret of confidence as well? If yes, keep watching this video. So the tribe mentor made everybody sit and said, look, inside you, there are two wolves. There is this negative red wolf that is all, always dominating you. That's actually telling you the negative things. That's telling you it's not possible for you. That's telling you to wait. That's telling you to wait for somebody else to take action. But there is also a white, the second wolf, the white wolf. And the tribe mentor said that the second wolf is always very small. It's tiny. It seems like it hasn't eaten for many days. It needs help. But the red negative wolf, it's always in control. And the tribe mentor said there is always a fight in between the negative wolf and the powerful wolf. And you decide who wins. And one of the members said, but who wins in the fight? And the tribe mentor said, the wolf that wins is the wolf that you feed the most. The wolf that you feed the most. Are you getting what I'm talking about? See. If you feed your fear, your fear will win. If you feed your power and confidence, your power and confidence will win. So here are six different tips that you can keep in mind on exactly how to feed your power instead of feeding your fear. Does that make sense to you? So how do you feed your fear? You feed your fear, for example, when you keep watching other people's video, you're watching their YouTube videos and you're thinking, you're, you're, you're thinking I should improve, but you're feeding your fear because you're not taking action versus you feed your power when you actually practice drill and rehearse using the right techniques, okay? When you practice, when you actually practice your speaking, practice your voice, practice your body language, stop watching other people's videos only and start practicing in the right way. That's number one. Number two is, let's say, you know, you feed your fear when you're actually having a lot of sweets and fast food, you're staying at home, watching Netflix, having beer and chips, and you feed your power when you go out for a walk, you go out for a run, you go out and you eat food that energizes you. Think about it. I mean, most times people have a lot of lunch or dinner, but after the lunch or dinner, you know, food is supposed to energize you. But think about it, when was the last time you felt energized after a lunch or dinner? Most people feel lethargic because they don't take the right food, so you're feeding your fear. Here is the third one. You know, you feed your fear when you say somebody should do something. You know, somebody should save that girl. Somebody should do something about the nature. Somebody should water the plants. Somebody should feed the dogs. Somebody should teach me. Somebody should lead me. You feed your power when you say, I'll go first. I'll be the first person. I know that I don't come from wealth, but I'll be the first person in my family. You know, if I don't come from a wealthy family, I will let a wealthy family come from me. That is the third differentiating and distinction you have to understand. Fourth one is, you know, you feed your fear when you're always very skeptical. Yeah, what you're saying is right, but you know, I'm very skeptical about what you're saying. And you feed your power when you have a mentor. You're not, you're not skeptical anymore. You have a mentor and you're doing what your mentor is telling you. So you have mentor, you do and you apply. No skepticism, no negativity. Make sense to you so far? Number five, you t feed your fear when you hang out with the wrong people. You hang out with people who are average minded, negative minded. You feed your fear. You feel good in the moment because you're talking about the government. You're talking about the politics. You're talking about how everything is going wrong. But you feed your power when you hang out with people who discuss ideas, vision, dreams and action steps. Does that make sense to you? And number six is you feed your fear when you say, I have a lot of time. Someday I will do something. The timing is not perfect for me. I'm waiting for the perfect time. Have you ever said that, by the way? That's how you feed your fear. You feed your power when you say, now is the time, now or never. Now is the time, now or never. You see, a lot of people want to become confident speakers, but they never become that. The reason for that is because they are waiting for the perfect time. So think about it. You feed your fear every single day when you do things like this, and you feed your confidence every single day when you do the right things for yourself. So the tribe mentor, the tribe warrior mentor said that, that if you want to feed 
your confidence you have to feed that you feed that wolf so like i said there is always a a fight between the red negative wolf and the white wolf and the white wolf is the confident wolf and you are that confident wolf there is always these two wolves inside you and you will win when you feed your confidence more so make sure that if you want to be a great speaker this is what we do so look there are two ways you can do about it. Number one, you can forget that you watched the video and you can go back to your old life. Or second, you can actually give us a call on this number that you see on the screen right now. Give us a call and talk to one of our team Hello. members and say, I want Vishal Sarkar to feed my confidence. I want to feed my confidence. I want to be the white wolf, not the negative wolf anymore. Because if you are a leader and you want to become a powerful speaker, so that you can grow in your career, have great happiness and express everything that you want to express without wasting time and lakhs of rupees in theoretical courses and negative practices, wasting time in sacrifice and stress. If you don't want all that, want all of that, and if you really want concrete confidence, then give us a call on the number that you see on the screen. We'll be happy to tell you exactly how to do that, okay? I'm going to show you how to be a confident speaker and how to express yourself in the most powerful way. Vishal Sarkar here reminding you, that public speaking is not about perfection, it's all about connection. Um, I uh, last, uh, last 10 days back or five, five days back, I mentioned to you about that uh, speech session for a preschool parenting session. Yeah, you are supposed to be the speaker. Yes. How did that go? Oh, it went on very great, uh, Vishal. Uh, and you know, actually, which part I did well? Question and session. <laughs> I uh -huh. used to run away, run away from that. Let's you know? clap for Kalpana. Let's oh. clap for her. Yeah. Once everybody comes from the breakout room, we'll, we'll tell them again. But um, amazing. So you prepare, how, how long was your speech? Um, Apart, including the Q&A. Uh, including my Q&A and everything, 60 minutes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, they wow. wanted to ask more and more. I said, uh, my number is there. You can connect connect to me. Um, mm. So I left the number. And uh, the big part is I was happy that I was able to handle question and session very easily. Very naturally, it was coming for me. So really I, was, nice. I was happy. I just finished that uh, speech. And then I joined uh, the session. So I was a little late for the class. Let me ask this question to... To Anup. Anup, imagine for a second. This is just a quick example. So Anup, you wanted to, oh, first of all, would you agree by coming to the public speaking speakathon and then joining the mastermind, your public speaking skills have improved rapidly? Yes or no? Yes, absolutely. Now, I want you to imagine some other guy, Anup, who wants to also improve public speaking. It's a powerful decision. But instead of getting a mentor, instead of joining a course, instead of getting help in a practical way, what they do is, they start reading books. They say, I got to gather information. Powerful decision, but slow. It's not going to get them anywhere. Does that make sense to you, Anup? Yeah. yeah. Reading, 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 or, you know, I want to change my life. So I want to go to one guru. I want to go to read more books. I want to read this. I want to go through this powerful decision. But it, you're taking a long time to make it.